All right, we're going to go ahead and run through um, several examples um, similar to or identical to problems we did in class. I think I have about five of them here. And uh, these are integrals that end up uh, being some sort of inverse trig functions. Um, so we're going to look at this one here. And um, what we'll do is uh, we'll rewrite this. So 5dx divided by, and then we're going to try to get it to fit a little bit more of the form of either one of the th three types of integrals we have that end up being uh, trig functions here. So this one looks like a um, some sort of um, uh, arc secant. And um, so this one is uh, not arc secant, an arc sine. So it's arc sine of a, or um, of uh, u over a plus constant of integration. And I'll go ahead and put that formula up right below. So all we had to do there is just make sure it um, it fits the form there. So our u would have been 5x, our a would have been 2, and then uh, also what we have here is your uh, du will be 5 uh, dx, which is exactly what we have at the top there. So this, this fits the form exactly for the uh, ending up being an arc, arc sign. So I'll look at another one. So here we have dx over 9 plus uh, x plus 2 quantity squared. Um, this one is going to look a little bit like maybe the, uh, the arctangent. I'm going to go ahead and identify what my u is and what my a is and see if it fits kind of the arctan. So the u would be uh, x plus 2 and the a would be 3. And this in fact is an arc tan here in the and uh, the du would have been just equal to uh, dx in this case. So this is this is exactly an arc tan. So the arc tan is going to be one over a or one over three arc tan of uh, x plus two divided by three plus your constant of integration. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and write that arc uh, that integral that it ends up being an arc tan just for reference. Okay, so we just got to match what, what does it look like, okay? All right, we're going to do a couple more, uh, and they get a little bit more uh, challenging. So let's take a look at C here. This is 1 divided by x, and we have x to the fourth minus 16 dx. Okay, so this one, um, so we did one with, it ended up being an arc sine and arc tangent, so this one might be uh, arc secant. And um, so we want to see what we can do here. Um, so if I let the u equal the x squared, the du is going to be uh, 2x dx. Um, so we have a little bit of problem here for the, for the formula for this. You'd have a du, and then it would be u, and then u squared minus a squared. So we don't quite have that because this right here that needs to be an x squared. And so what we got to do is we got to we got to do a little bit of trickery here. So um, just some some uh, fancy rewriting um, of one. So here's what we we end up doing here. Okay. So um, the du is 2x dx and uh, we don't really have that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put 2x dx there. Um, and we, we've got the dx already there, so that's taken care of, but we, we're introducing a 2x, okay? So if I introduce a, a, a 2x there, I don't have an x up there. So what I do is I make that x there in the denominator, I make that an x squared. So it's kind of like I multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by x um, to get what I want, okay? And then in the uh, square root, we have x squared quantity squared minus 4 squared and now this is looking like it fits the um, the uh, the integral that ends up being an arc uh, secant. Also you see how I entered, introduced a 2 uh, in in the uh, top there I need to compensate by that for that so I'm going to multiply by um, uh, 1 half there which it looks like I forgot to do here Sometimes in the excitement you forget some stuff, so I'm going to put that one half in right there. Okay, 
Yeah, they, down below, I'm going to go ahead and write again that um, formula for the uh, uh, integral that ends up being an arc secant. Okay. And uh, we do have all our pieces. And then I cut myself, and you see that I, I uh, am writing that one half again. So uh, let me erase it so it doesn't look as, as messy. Okay, so there's that one half. Okay. All right, um, so we've got the one half hanging out. Then we have a one half part of the. Um, uh, it's not a one half. It should be a. Uh, what's our a here? Let's put it in our a. Our a should be four. So this should be a one over four. Okay, there we go. Uh, arc secant, absolute value of x squared. Over, and not not two. Sorry. Over four. We can clean this up a little bit. So the uh, one over eight arc secant, and then uh, because we're taking absolute value of something that's already positive, x squared is already positive, so we can drop the bars, and it should be over four plus c. And um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, fix fix these. So this this was uh, exciting times the other day. So I. Uh, um, Miss some constants there, okay? All right, let's take a look at another integral that um, we're asked to find, and um, it looks looks to me kind of like um, uh, an arc um, tangent. Um, but we're going to have to again do a little bit of, of trickery to get this to to fit um, the form that we want. So we need um, we need a du up here. So what I see here is the that x to the fourth. That's going to tell me that the u should be an x squared. Then the du is going to be two x dx, and um, we almost have that. You see that we almost have that upstairs, um, but we have an x there instead. So we're going to have to introduce a two. If I introduce a two, then I'm going to have to divide by two there also. So that's part of the the trick for this um, uh, particular problem. So let's go ahead and write in some of that stuff we just said and uh, get ourselves going. All right, so we say the u is the x squared. The du should be 2x dx. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce that 2 there. So we'll, we'll put that 1 half there to compensate. So we have 1 half, and then it's 2x uh, dx. And then that's going to be divided by x squared squared to get it to fit the form plus Two squared. Okay. All right. So now this this fits the form of uh, the one over a arctan u over a. Okay. And then maybe we'll mention the a here should be two. So we have a pre-existing one half outside the integral. So we'll have one half and then another one half arctan, and uh, the u is x squared divided by two plus constant integration. Multiply those constants together and. There we go. We got it. Okay. I'm gonna do one more with you, and uh, this one, this one is a bit trickier because um, we're gonna end up having to split it up into two uh, uh, integrals here, um, and that's sometimes what happens. So we're gonna look at x squared plus five divided by x, and then uh, x squared uh, minus sixteen. Okay, this kind of looks like to me like the uh, integral that ends up being an arc, uh, arc secant. And it looks like I forgot the, the arc, so this should, be, this should be arc secant there. Okay. And why I think that is, I see there's, there's kind of my u squared, there's my u, there's my a squared. Uh, now, what's causing us some problems is the x squared plus 5. What I should have is um, just uh, du. So if u is x squared, uh, du should be 2x dx. And I don't really have that up there. I have an x squared and, and a plus 5. So that's going to be a little bit of problem problematic for us. Um, and I said this wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, the u should just be x, so uh, du is equal to dx. Sorry about that. Um, 
so this causes me still problems because I have the x squared and I have the 5. The 5 is not going to matter, it's just a constant. It's the x squared that's going to cause us a little bit of problems. What we're going to end up doing here is we're going to split this up into two integrals. And one's going to be something that we could have done in Cal 1. So we're going to rewrite. Um, it's going to be the integral of x squared over x square root of x squared minus 16 dx plus um, 5 dx over x x squared minus 16. Now if I look at this one right here, that is that form. It is that form. The only thing is we have that constant of 5, who cares, that we can just pull it out. So that's good. This one here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify that x squared over x, and then um, this one's going to end up being a nice uh, problem that we could do by uh, u substitution. So something we didn't count one. Okay. So this is x over x. x uh, over uh, square root of x squared minus 16, because the x's cancel. And then uh, we're going to do u substitution. So u is x squared minus 16 du is 2x dx, and uh, so this is something, this is all taken care of. We're going to have to uh, put a 2 in here and then put a 1 half out there so it fits that form. Plus, and this other thing is already good to go. So we got the 5 out there, and it does fit this form of an arc secant. So the a should be 4, and uh, your u should just be x. Okay. So we get 5 over 4, arc secant, absolute value of x divided by 4, plus constant of integration. Okay. The first piece is going to end up becoming x squared minus 16 under the square root, and then uh, if you need to check, take the derivative and see if you get back to that integrand there. Plus the uh, 5 over 4 arc secant uh, absolute value of x divided by 4 plus c. And this is going to be one of the techniques that we'll use where sometimes we have to split the integral up into two pieces. One will be taken care of by uh, methods you already know how to do. And then the other part will be one of these uh, integrals that ends up being some sort of inverse trig function. Okay. Uh, we'll have another video or two on uh, some other uh, tricky, trickier problems where they um, might have you do some uh, completing the square or something like that. So that's another technique. So uh, you just got to dive on in and uh, get exploring with these things.